What's up, everybody? Zavrin here, and today we're playing Adios. It's a game where we play as a pig farmer who has decided that they no longer want to dispose of bodies for the mob. We have a pretty decent conversation with some people, or with a guy, anyways. A, 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 a guy. That's what we'll call him, a good guy. It's developed and published by Mischief Studios. It was released on March 17th, 2021. And, yeah, it's basically a mystery thriller walking sim kind of game and it's got a short tag on it on steam so i'm not sure if it's a actual short game or it can be a short game right so we'll play it let's see what happens we might have to make this a two-parter either way let's jump in adios okay good I was just like, oh no, that's not good. Tab to open up our journal. Oops, okay, no clicking. Tell him I'm done. Okay. Let's go. Oh, they kind of they 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 made it kind of like a movie, right? better pay different hours no nothing like that i'm just you know done with this uh uh-huh okay you wanna yeah sure sure here you go. so you uh you're done huh yep you oh. do understand what that means right Yeah, I do. Mm, I don't think you do. I do. And do you still think you can quit? Yeah, it's a free country. This isn't that kind of job. I know. But, uh, all the same, I am done. Nothing I can do to change your mind. Uh, you're welcome to try. Yeah, you are welcome to try. Well, let's go get some coffee. Talk things over. Come on, feeding the pigs. My pigs need food, and you got meat. <laughs> we don't question what we've served the pigs. The breakfast, okay? What's up, buddy? Mm -mm -mm. Smells delicious as always. Ah, Sadie was the real cook. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Not much that's better than your home cooked eggs. Hope you don't mind. I left out the bell peppers this time. Mm, can't stand them. Uh, ah. I like bell peppers. Put jalapenos in them once. Never again. I like jalapenos. Uh, I don't know. That might be tasty. Well, if you say so. Not to change the subject, but how long have we been doing this for, you think? Can I drink this? Years, just about. Ah, <laughs> summer of 78. Why'd we meet? What was it? I needed cash. Needed the scratch. What did you need to scratch for again? Wasn't too popular with the folks back home. Had to make ends meet. Oh, that's how you do it. Still needed surgery you couldn't afford. Yes. Well, here's what I remember. I had a problem that night, and... Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem when who should come in through that door but you? I don't know, but I'm going to eat your eggs. Give me your eggs. Give me the eggs. I'm telling you, give me the eggs now. I need your eggs, sir. Uh, I thought Jimmy could help. Jimmy was always I don't have any idea what I'm saying here. Home. I thought he could help. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other, so he called up Tony. We agreed. Made a deal. We... All agreed. Ugh. Anyone ever tell you you're no good at making coffee? Listen, you do. Every time you visit. Thought you'd have got it better by now. Well, Sadie made the coffee. I made the bacon. Uh, it's good bacon. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I thought pigs were all pink with curly tails. Yorkshires are. Mine are red waddle. American breed. Not a lot of them out there, you know. That's so. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
always thought it'd be nice, you know, to raise pigs that was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. Long time ago. Yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> you and me both. So why the Waddles? I was thinking down. <laughs> Funny name. Like I said, American breed. Nearly went extinct. Thought I'd do my part to keep them alive. And that tastes good. Yeah, sure. You aren't wrong. You know, the other day, I was reading the paper. Look at you, an intellectual. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Anyways, I read that pigs were as smart as us. Do you believe that? I actually do. Uh, I suppose so. I suppose so. How smart do you reckon? I would say as smart as us. I mean, they could hurt us and they don't. But that's pretty much any animal we eat. Really? That smart? Oh, uh, we ain't that smart. Do you think the pigs know? Know what? What? Food. Oh, pigs don't think like that. How do you know? Because I know pigs. Pigs ain't like us. Well, sure, they're smart. They eat, they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I suppose you do? Every man does. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um, what do you say I accompany you today? Okay, you seemed a little hesitant uh, farm chores, to ask. Shovel manure, milk goats, stuff like that? Sure, always wanted to know how to milk goats. As long as you're okay with shoveling manure first. What about your sidekick? Protégé. I think we're going to take... He'll be the man you'll be dealing with. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm, ambitious. Like you, I guess. But, uh, listen. I told you already. I'm quitting. We'll see. Well, hey. I think I'm gonna either... We're either gonna take two to the back of the head, right? Like, just makes sense. Because... This seems to be that kind of guy. I really like the art style a lot. I like how it's kind of a cartoony... Borderlands dark heavy outline type of game. I, I really like the art style. It goes good with the story so far. It is kind of slow moving, so if this isn't your type of game, I apologize. But I do like showcasing indie games. So let's see, what are we doing first? Where do we go? Do we let's go to the farthest first? Oh, we can go to the closest. Why not? Let's go. It's right here. Oh, oh. I like how he grunts when he jumps. Oh. Approaching scene. Huh. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Oh. Uh -uh. Just some old shackers, <laughs> but every time I asked what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. Well, I have not, no. I tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? Yeah, we're gonna enter the shack. We're gonna go somewhere else, dude. Enter to to the shack? Wow, okay. Okay, so we're, we're deadlocked. So we, if you, I'm not gonna pull the cord. If you, <laughs> nope. <laughs> The soda. Here I figured you had a deep dark secret. <laughs> we have a deep dark secret. This here is one of my hobbies. What? Collecting them? Well, sure I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Is there a point to any hobby? Uh, depends. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them. I, I fix them up. That's where the real fun is. Mm, makes sense. Hey, you got any hobbies? You look like you want to ask me something. You look like, uh, you look like you want to ask me something. Why pop machines? I like a good soda pop. And the jump from that to having a bunch of machines in a blacked out shed? I used to work at the town library after school. And, uh, somebody thought it would be a good idea to put in a pop machine. Fifty? Fifty-one? Thereabouts? Anyways, it was cantankerous as these things tended to be especially back then and mrs uh oh mrs olson <laughs> she was the librarian at the time knew i was handy asked me to fix it uh, and you've been fixing pop machines ever since yep not exactly didn't think much of it for years until after some time i got back from overseas and uh, i was at this junkyard and i i saw a kruger schmidt <laughs> and uh <laughs> A what? A 
good shit. Yeah, I jumble the words I know, probably uh, French or something. Uh, it sounds German. German. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, it looks so dilapidated that I just had to take it home and, and fix it. Oh, shift is run. You know how the wife is. She just about threw a hissy fit. But I, but I brought her to this here shed and got to work. Fixed her up real nice, hmm? Then what? Had myself a nice pop. <laughs> Had myself a nice pop. That was all there was to it. But then there was an auction in town and someone was selling a pair of vendos. Well, I figured, hey, I could fix that too. Uh, and it snowballed from there. <laughs> Bad it did. But why? It relaxes me. I just, I don't know, soda machines. It's an unusual thing for a man to want to fix. Don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, but when the missus and I would get into fights or when things was bad or I was anxious, well, I don't know. Now, Sadie's sister, when she passed, told me that, uh, told me that it was all right to cry, that it wasn't weakness, that it was okay. Sitting there in that empty living room with everyone murmuring and telling me how sorry they were, and I didn't feel like I needed to cry. Didn't you miss her? Of course I did. Still do, but I don't know. Not everybody needs to cry. I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know. Weakness? No. I don't know what she was talking about. Weakness. Cry never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. I can't remember the last time I cried. Yeah, maybe that movie about the boy and his dog. Oh, I'll always cry over that one. Dogs are good, innocent. Yeah, when a dog dies, that always moves me to tears. Yeah. But Josie insisted. Then she kept insisting. Then, psh, I don't know. I think she got offended I wouldn't cry as if she loved Sadie more than me. And she made me feel like I was, that I was something wrong. Of course, that wasn't true. There was nothing wrong with me. I just didn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This is how I grieve, this right here. When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. And I don't know how or why, but it's healing. It's a healing thing, and that's why a man's got to have a hobby. Sorry, guy. No. No, it's all right. I, I figured, you know. Okay. I figured if someone's got to know, this is my quiet little hobby. A thing I do to help me work out my worries. Well, yeah. Looks like you fixed this one up real nice. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Proud of all of them. But I'm proud of this one most. Thank you for taking the time to show me. There's a... Uh, there's another reason I wanted to show this to you. Mm, what's that? If you want it, it's yours. <laughs> what am I going to do with a pop machine? Well, <laughs> grab yourself a nice, refreshing drink of soda every so often, you big dummy. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I couldn't possibly. Yeah. Please. A little memento of our time again. Oh, Come on, Memento. Let's keep this train rolling. We can work something out. You come on back by, pick up the soda machine. Take it home with you. Or don't. If you really got no use for it, I won't be offended. I'll think it over. What's next? I think our character knows he's going to get unalived, right? And I think that He's kind of reliving memories. And I think the only reason he wants us to show him how to work the farm is so that he could have his protege run the farm or hire somebody else to run the farm after we take two to the back of the head, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. That was the last thing on the list. Wow. Okay. So move the manure, milk the goats, feed the horses, and throw horseshoes. Okay. But none of this other stuff opened up. Oh, okay. There it is. So there's horseshoes. I guess here. Let's go. Can't jump the fence. That kind of sucks. Oh. Oh. 
That looks like a horseshoe pit more than anything. Okay, I guess we're doing it backwards. Why horseshoes? It's actually a fun game. Well, why not horseshoes? Doesn't it feel stereotypical? Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so oh, half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? This is 1992, friend. We got shopping malls for teenagers, restaurants, clubs, whatever. Whatever. I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Well, time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all that, uh, uh stimulation. Ah, so you play horseshoes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, read a good book. Develop photos you took for yourself. Go fly fishing. Well, it sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home-cooked paradise? Okay, see, so we made two choices, or three choices, whatever choices we made, it took away two and three option, right? Option two and three. So it's just too lonely for us. We'll get you a nice place in the city. Ah, never was one for crowds. Thought you said you were lonely. Well, I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. Sadie, she, uh, nobody else could really see me, understand what I was. How do you figure? I, 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 well, what? Uh, after Saigon, when I got back, all these people were hugging their loved ones or protesting or whatever. And Can I rotate it? I never Because that's so not. Alone in all my life. I was home. I should have been happy. And I wasn't. Well, it wasn't a popular war. You lost friends too, right? Yeah. Maybe throw a horseshoe. When I got home, it, it was dark, and there was Sadie waiting for me. Porch light like a halo around her head. And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. Hmm. So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Yeah. I, I thought. I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. I bet all sorts wanted you, especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. You see that house on the hill? Uh, what, the burned out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon. Of the Gordon family. Went to high school with us. But, uh... Well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, was the county judge, so for us, that's pretty high society. Hmm. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all of that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pa paid off the school, but ah, he wasn't a bad athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh, a real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. And poor farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback shit what kind of contest was that hey who wouldn't want all this <laughs> man yet when i came home there she was where was gary he served too ah oh, gary was too rich to serve star quarterback had some health exemption didn't get drafted uh-huh uh, so then where was he running his dad's business trying to win her heart <laughs> didn't work well, she invited him to the wedding i didn't want him there but well you know sadie uh -huh. well the gordons own most of the property around here including the 200 acres surrounding that hill right and he built a house a house w wait that house the very same looks like it was a mansion it was Why'd he build it? Ah, My house. To remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, what happened to the wealthy Gary Gordon and his mansion? Well, he built it one year. Must have been 1966 or so. And he went inside and he just disappeared. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm and boom. No more Gary Gordon. No more Gary Gordon. Huh. Maybe he was lonely, too. Maybe. Yeah. 
All right, you win. What next? I do win. You you suck. I was showing you the score the whole time. Two thousand to four thousand. You suck, bro. You suck. All right, what do we need? Move the manure. Is that the manure over there? Because there's horses. We're doing everything backwards. So maybe that's why the other two choices weren't available too, because there was two things we were supposed to do prior to it that would have helped us. So let's just run. But these weren't here, which is kind of weird. The shovel. Uh oh. Yo, bro. Wheelbarrow for hauling, hauling what? Shh, poop. supposed to do with this crap we are going to fertilize well not now it's october but we're gonna put it in a nice big pile where it belongs uh we well, you yeah say you wanted to help yeah guess i did yeah. help. shovel some sh pick up that shovel over there we'll shovel it in wheel it out dump it and we're good and you do this every day mm -hmm. most every day and you want to keep doing this every absolutely day my routine shoveling shit yeah we've got to do it it's what i know that, uh, it's what i know you told me that hmm. i remember vietnam yeah you know i did some digging on you personally not the shit kind know what i found uh, i reckon you'll tell me you went back Hi. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not going to talk about it. Come on. No. Suit yourself. But you got a medal. You didn't have to go back. Had a wife and kid here. In a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home, you went back. You going somewhere with this? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? While we're shoveling shit? I was recon. You know that, I reckon. I was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling, magazines next to me on the bed. And I... I had this, uh... moment. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. And the revelation was this. I didn't like to dump it. The protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the vans weren't changing anything. You know who was? The Vietnamese? The Russians? No. No. The news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Vietnam? That was our first time that close to war. So, uh, I figured, uh, you, Sorry. You ain't the only one of us who's killed people. You know, why do you think I have to get that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. What are we doing? You weren't recon when you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. <laughs> I fought in a different way. Did you win? We pulled out a man. <laughs> Big war hero. Shuffling shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shuffling shit. <laughs> oh, that was too. Why did I keep doing that? <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, let's go make some freaking goats, dude. I made him shovel everything, which is hilarious. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh man, that's too funny. We did see the goats over here though, so let's go. The goat. You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yet, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. I tried cows once. Bill raised a newt or something, but uh, it died. Well, most people have. I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. Is that uh, judgment I hear? 
<laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering, why goats? Goat milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Well, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said. Oh, my goat. No longer interested in that particular revenue stream. We're the ones who sever ties. You don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now, and you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. Yeah, goats. I like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Meat's good with the right curry. A friend taught me that a while back. So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Yeah. Buck, sit oh, down. Really? <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Yep. Well, here's your chance. Absolutely. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so we have us walk up. Hey, take a seat, city boy. Oh, they're booers. It's a booer goat. I used to have a goat. Positions here like they should. Got feed all ready for him. Just uh, you take a seat there. Uh, uh, not very comfortable. <laughs> I suppose not. Grab them teats and squeeze. Seated. All you got to do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger and pull. No, 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 no pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers. Gently pushing the milk out. Oh, like this? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you got to do is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. This is kind of nice. I found it relaxing. Well, I think I could get used to this. <laughs> Why don't you? Say what? Why not get used to this? What, and come work with you? Sure. <laughs> yeah, some folks might take issue with that. Well, can't make everybody happy. Better than ending up shot. Shoot him. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, let's get a little lower, a little higher. Let's go right there, right? That's it. That's it in his face. It's getting all over his face, neck, and chest. Okay, I've shot him. Do I have to keep doing it? <laughs> no. Gun down. Life over just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well, we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. What good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? Who says I'm not happy? I'm not. You could be. I don't think I could. Well... That does it for the goats. That does it. Still uh, thinking about what I've been saying? I haven't stopped. You changed your mind? No. No. No, I have not. All right, let's go feed the horse. We did it in the wrong order. Well, not necessarily the wrong order, right? We did it in our own order, and I like it how it gives you the option of doing it your way. So we can go through this again to see what other endings we might possibly get. Or see what way other things might happen, right? Do we milk the horse too? A tractor? <laughs> What's that got to do with uh, what? Well, pigs I get, goats too. Some fellas have chickens and cows, and that's all well and good. But what's the point of a horse? Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. <laughs> Why you? Just keep a horse around because they're beautiful. Horses belong on farms. Uh huh. Uh, you know you haven't got a saddle for them, so you don't ride them. There's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? Well, I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Gotta have a horse. Uh, yeah. And what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful, really. Oh, I mean, that's not a majestic animal. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong with that. Aren't you going to say something? 
They're ready, bro. Don't listen to this douche. One day. One day, maybe this fella will understand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick, too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. No, nah, yeah, you're, you're going to feed it to him. You're going to feed him a salt lick. All right, here you go, boy. No, no, I got to get going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? Oof. Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The tree. You know what this is? A uh, tree? Well, have you ever seen a tree like it? A, a tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Oh, sure, sure. I mean, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why, is it special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. Oh, hey, Saul. Uh, he's telling us about his American chestnut What are you doing, bro? Thought they all died. What? <laughs> you remember it. I used to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Um, I, I, I'm a little lost here. Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul so had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. And most American chestnuts have died off. It's true. Long before you or I was born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Jimmy'd like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 or so. Wow. Chestnut blight. That's what, like a couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four yeah. billion trees snuffed out practically overnight. Well, lumberjacks suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. Uh, I thought West Virginia was coal country. Logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here making nuts year-round. And I feed them to the Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Seems lonely. Uh, it is lonely. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. So... I look after him, and he looks after me, and I don't know. Sadie and I, we, we talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Well, Brody's grave was enough for me, but uh, I don't know. I thought about having him moved. I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. <laughs> Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just that... I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. Uh, I did do that. I just... It's a part of me, is all. And God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm... I just... So I'll go ahead and... Wait for me at the van. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Look. Look at me. Yeah. You're thinking about dying. Thinking you can pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise aside. Someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy'd love to know about them. Well, Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. Please. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm 
good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Please, let me rest here. And if there's a way, a way to... Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. Hey, you got more to show me, right? Yeah. Do I? That's the question. Oh, we got a car. Yo, look at that. We got a nice El Camino in the garage. No tour would be complete without the garage. I have to ask, why a sports truck? I think they're called coupe utility, but, uh, I mean, why not a sports car? Yeah, I mean, I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. A sports car, motorcycle, an affair, something like that. Get your hand out of my hood. I love these so much. Saw mine one day. Fell in love with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Had to bring her home with me. I'll admit, it has a charm to it. But she won't run. No? Well, pop the hood. Let's take a look. You're serious? Sure. Already had my midlife crisis. And your battery's right here, right? Motorcycle. That doesn't look like a battery, but I think that's what that will be. No, they're similar enough. Some of them even use the same engine. We can figure this out. All right. All right, pop the hood. Uh, it won't let me because this guy's in my way. I can't pop the hood. I just want to do it from here. No. Okay. Can you oh, battery's connected. Oh, my eyes aren't what they were. what they were. Come on. Sure thing. Thank you. It's damn Jack. What's that? Saul. He's a good kid. I like him. It was nice him coming by. Yeah? That's good to hear. Yep. Never met anyone with so much promise. Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Come to think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. But then he got older, graduated college, really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Hmm. Great listener. Can you believe we were his age once? <laughs> Hard to admit. When I was young, I thought I knew everything. Yeah? And now? Today, I learned from you and him about chestnuts. Well, I learned something new every day, I suppose. You check the spark plugs? Mm, give me a second. Uh, what about your boy? Bill? Oh, he's fine, I guess. You guess. Hey, how old is he again? Uh, born in 60, so, uh, 32 as of September. Huh. Roy would have been about his age. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Well, what's this about you and Bill? Oh, he don't want to talk to me no more. What? Bill? Toe-headed little guy? Always friendly and outgoing? That Bill? It's, uh... It's about Sadie. Ah. Uh, yeah. Hey, mind if I ask you a completely unrelated question? Mm. What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's farm. Chuck. Huh. <laughs> yeah, what's with all the planes? There's no runway around here. Uh, you know how farmers are. Hey, have you checked the air filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You haven't done anything. I've done too, but I've never seen anyone else with... Uh, uh, what are they, World War II bombers or something? I think he has a B-36. No kidding. You got no idea what a B-36 is, have you? Yeah, have the foggiest. <laughs> well, a B-36 is a big old bomber made out of magnesium. Biggest America ever had. Took two train tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. <laughs> so why does Chuck have one in his backyard, plus all the others? Asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. Wires loose here. Where? Right there. So, what'd he say? Oh, uh... <laughs> dead navigator came to him in a dream. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream, said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save them. So, Chuck's? Crazy. 
Well, eccentric, maybe, but, uh, yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? If I did, I'd have a different job. Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is neither created nor lost and all that. So you're saying a dead navigator came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no offense, and told him that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coot's farm. And he keeps them safe. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. Well, want to try running it? I suppose you haven't moved your hands, but I guess it might work. How's it going to work? What the hell? Oh, oh. oh sure. sure. All right. <laughs> I didn't even see the stuff on I didn't even see the options on the bottom of the screen, dude. <laughs> One more time. Looks like she'll give you a few more years yet. Oh. Yeah. Remember Slick? Sure. He always wanted one of these. Yep. Where is he now? Fighting Saddam. Jimmy tried to find out. Classified, I heard. Good kid. Angry. Well, maybe when he gets back. Uh, Thinking of giving him the car as, what, thanks for his service? I never wanted to be thanked for mine, but. That boy's seen more hurt than any of us. Deserves better than that old Pinto he is. <laughs> yeah. Well, where to next? I don't know. Let me hit this prop rod, knock you out, and then put two in the back of your head first. Because I have a feeling that's about to happen. Uh oh. Shotguns, huh? I don't like shotguns. Right? Still do. I like revolvers myself. When it's for sport, I got a few of those. Oh, yeah. yeah, what's your favorite? The big slab sided ones. Have a... What about you? Uh, nothing special. 357's when I can. But this is a shotgun. Yep. yep. Figured we could shoot some skeet. Always like shooting skeet. Taught Bill to shoot this way. <laughs> You're a good Good one better. Probably couldn't. So, how do we do this? Uh, who's going first? Uh, you can go first. <laughs> I'm not giving a shotgun. Here. Right, then. Hm. This is more my speed. Hanging out, shooting guns. Maybe a few beers next time. I'm not sure if the beers mix, friend. Oh, sure they do. Like peanut butter and very dangerous chocolate. Next time. Next time. And there isn't going to be a next time. Oh, there's always a next time. This is it. After today, we are done. I'm to tell you. I keep trying to tell you. There is no option. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Doing this. Hey, you're just feeding your pigs. It's free. That's the way it's got to be. You have a choice. You haven't listened to a word I've said. I've been listening. I've been listening all morning. I've been listening to you talk about being sad and lonely and refusing to listen to reason. I have my reasons. I can't. I can't pull the trigger there. I won't let me. Wouldn't let me do it. The goodbye. Uh oh. So obviously the video is going to be a little longer. This is it then. It is. Why? Why are we doing this? Because I need to. We're friends, God damn it! You don't get to get all stoic on me. I know losing her was hard, but there's got to be something. Got to be. I can't take care of the farm like I used to. There isn't much point anymore. So sell the farm. Move into the city. Meet someone new. Do you believe in hell? Huh? Do you believe in hell? I'm 
not scared of hell, if that's what you mean. I didn't ask if you were scared. I asked if you believed. I don't know. Well, I do. And I think... I think doing this... I think that's where I'm headed. And why? You think you can buy your way into heaven? No. I can't take back what I've done. Nope. What I can do is do something right. Why? Because I want to see her again. That's all. Um, I just want to see her again. Gotcha. And I figure I do one right thing with my life. Just one thing. Maybe I'll get to see her again. One more time. And this is your one right thing. Is that enough for repentance? I mean, how do you know if any of this is true? I don't know. Nobody knows. But I got the notion, and the notion's got me. So, the least I can do is uh, tell you adios. Just like that. But what else is there to say? Not much, I guess. No. All right, then. Just have it your way. I'll be back this evening. You get an afternoon. Do whatever you gotta do. Damn. You have a door unlocked. I can do that. Adios, friendo. Be seeing ya. Damn, that's actually kind of sad, huh? We knew it was coming, and at least it wasn't two to the back of the head, right? They're gonna come and do it while we're asleep. And I guess that's kind of nice. I guess we go down to the basement. Where's the uh, basement stairs? Not in there. Not in here. Basement stairs. Maybe under here? Oh, there it is. Go fishing, yeah. Kind of something to put our mind at ease. Another fishing game. We know. Oh, we got to catch the Admiral, huh? Do we catch the Admiral? Yeah, I guess we just leave it out there then. I pass forward past all this so you guys don't have to sit here and watch. <laughs> Got it. Ooh, nice catch. Okay. Call the boy. All right, let's call the boy. Where's our house at? That took a little longer than necessary, but we caught the Admiral. You think for a game they'd want to keep the momentum up? Like, I'm not dogging on the game. I like this game. It's really cool. Okay, we can't make it through the force. But... For a game that was trying to like keep up the pace and the momentum of what's been going on. That whole 10 minute fishing escapade. Shouldn't have been the case. All right. Come on now. Come on now. That's a boy. Brung you an apple. Granny Smith. Me a lot of good luck. 
Mm-hmm. Good times. Without you, my father would uh, tell me I did not know. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all you done. Gonna go ahead and leave the barn door open behind me when I go. Oh, you want to leave? You go find someone else. That was probably the saddest part of the whole story. There you go. Open the barn door, right? No? Okay. So we're going to call the boy. Where's our phone at? Kitchen, maybe a lot of old timers kept their phone in the kitchens back in the 90s. A lot of people did, honestly. Yep, see, come on, come on, come on, pick up, please pick up, Dad, Bill. How'd you know it was me? Caller ID. I, I don't know what that is. It's new. Tells me who's calling. Huh, that's uh, that's some real fancy stuff you got there. Uh-huh. Listen, I'm busy. Why are you calling? I missed you. Uh, just, uh, hadn't talked in a while. And whose fault is that? We just talk, son. Uh, can't we just... Can't we talk? What is there to say? Hi, son. How are the grandkids? Well, how are they? Oh, by the way, I put your mom in a rest home so I could stay there and take care of my goats and my pigs and my stupid horse because, God forbid, I actually look after my sick wife. That's not fair. You put her in a home. You decided she wasn't good enough for you and you put her in a home. I didn't know what to do, man. No, I, I didn't know what to do. The doctors there, they would. How hard could it be? Alzheimer's isn't some terrifying boogeyman. It wasn't it you who told me to stay with the ones you love, no matter what? So, what? You didn't love her anymore? No, please. You gave her up. You gave her up to doctors and nurses. You know what they do to people in homes? It was the best home money could buy. Money. You and your damn money. Cared more about being a rich pig farmer than the people you were supposed to love. Hey. I loved you both. I did everything for you. Everything. Yeah, right. Bill. I, I, I didn't want this call to... You wanted to put my mom in a home. So I'm not sure what you want matters. B B Bill. Bill, I just, I just called to say... Say what? Sorry? Did you know I visited her? I found out where you put her, and I visited her. Uh, they said you visited sometimes. She was my wife, Bill. She cried, Dad. She cried. She wept, and she sobbed, and she kept asking me where you were. She was so scared, Dad. She was so scared. She wanted you to take her home. The doctor said sometimes she was lucid, but I couldn't. She was lucid, Dad. And I held her hand as she sobbed herself to sleep. And I kept holding her hand until they told me I had to go. Where were you? Taking care of your precious chestnuts? Feeding your heritage breed pigs? No, Bill. Bill, I... Save it. Talk to your goats or your pigs or whatever it is you do. I just wanted to t tell you goodbye, Bill. I, 
I've got some of your stuff all boxed up. If you wouldn't mind coming by in a few days to pick it up. We'll see. Goodbye, son. You'll never make this right, Dad. I'm still trying. That was uh, sad. That was very sad. Helped me up a little bit. Edie, listen, uh, I don't mean to interrupt, it's just, uh, uh, I'm on a tight schedule, and uh, uh, I need you to do me a favor, right? A favor? Sure. What do you need? Uh, I'm going to be out of town for a few days. Oh? Finally taking my advice and visiting family? Let me take that. I was uh, wondering if you and Garth could make sure the animals were fed and watered, you know, that kind of thing. Sure, sure. We ain't got much going on. Thanks, Edie. Listen, uh, I, uh, uh... Evan! Evan! What are you doing? Get down from there. Sorry. Cats. <laughs> anyway, what were you saying? Would you mind taking care of the animals? The animals. Uh, I got them fed and watered for today. They should be good for tomorrow, too. B but if it's too much of an imposition... Not at all, not at all. We're happy to be imposed upon. You've been a good neighbor for so long. I'm glad you called me today. In fact, just the other day, I said to Garth, I said, if we don't visit, then we should host. Reach out, say hello, put together a little neighborly get-together. And you know what he said? He said, well, Edie, if we did that, we'd just... Oh, you know what? Let me go get him for you. It's better when he Thank tells you, it. Thank you, Edie. Hey, you should drop on by next Saturday afternoon. We're going out to the Harvest Festival with the grandkids, and I know how lonely it's been, what with Sadie gone and all. You should come with us. Well, I appreciate the thought, Edie. I don't think I'll be back in town by then, though. Sorry. Oh, that's too bad. It's been real nice seeing you coming back to church again. Oh, it's, uh... It's been real nice being welcomed back. But now I gotta go. You know, chores and such. You know how it is. Oh, I sure do. Well, come on over sometime. Just got some gooseberries in. We're making pies, and we'd love to have you. I know they're your favorite. <laughs> that they are. Gotta go now. See ya. Oh, man. by as much as I ought. I ain't got an excuse. We had some good times, Brody. I remember Doug coming over, remarking on your coat. Said you didn't need no training. He'd put you with his bird dogs and you'd figure out what to do. Well, he was right. You came a waddling over out of that lake, duck in your mouth, proud as ever. You wouldn't give that duck up. But you got the hang of it. Eh, <sighs> Doug and I, we had a falling out. Haven't spoken to him since. Well, he passed, so no point reminiscing, I guess. Look at the grave. Uh, you know. Good boy. Good boy. You want to know something, Brody? I always I always believe dogs go to heaven because all dogs is fundamentally good. Even the mean ones, they're good too. They're just, you know, hurt or starving or, you know, sick or scared. So, uh, I don't know where you are. And I know Sadie's probably with you right now. I done wrong, Brody. I done a lot of wrong. And I don't know if I can make up for it. I want to tell you I'll see you soon, but the truth is, I do not know. I don't know if I was good enough for you or her. I don't know if I did my best. So, uh, uh, just 
This may be goodbye. The end. Okay. Okay. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. Go. It's kind of annoying, you know. Try to get everything done, and it's not letting you. So set this down here. Steak, cook. No steak. Put it in a pot. I tried to cook the steak and get the peas, and that didn't work, right? So. No, you stupid asshole. Whatever, dude. This is stupid. This mechanic definitely could have used a little bit extra work. I would say it's all strictly user error, but it's really not. Like, you have to have, like, if you don't throw the carrot at just the right spot. Like that, right? I just chop them here. I can okay my two potatoes okay so that i guess kind of is user error I'll, I'll give it that close that off dude please throw the freaking knife i don't want the knife throw it potato e Eh? And I need stock and peas. Put the stock in the pan, put all of the all of it in the pot and start the kitchen timer. Okay. Peas, stock. Kitchen timer. Oh, that was annoying. Like I said, it was most, mostly my fault. Looked over here. We eat. Who's here? Well, I guess that's where we're going to go ahead and end this episode. And yeah, it was a very fun, interesting storytelling game for sure. So thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for liking, subscribing, ringing the bell. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the episode, what you thought about the game, what you thought about the story. And if you've played it, what other decisions might have changed the outcome. And as always, you guys have yourselves. A great day.